Spring could be defined by days of flowers blooming, birds singing, and the occasional walk in the rain. But it is also a lovely reminder of how beautiful change can be. But are we starting to see a change in the property market? I'm Alex, and this is your spring market update for Chepstow and the surrounding areas. Spring has always been considered one of the best times to sell a home. Gardens are springing into life, and a little bit of sunshine always makes everyone's home look better. Plus, buyers have traditionally always started home searching in the spring, and data suggests that this is still the case today. Buyer demand is up by 16% year on year, with sales volumes at their highest since the peak of the 2007 market. However, year on year, the number of available properties has dropped by around 30% meaning that house prices have still increased nationally by 10.8%. So, how are things looking a little more locally? Currently in MP16, there are 233 homes advertised for sale, of which 166 are marked as under offer, meaning that 71.2% of all properties advertised are currently under offer, indicating we're very much still in a seller's market. From January 2021 to January 2022, in Monmouthshire, the average house price increased from 302,000 to 328,000, an increase of around 8.6%. The average price of a detached property increased from 434,000 to 479,000. Some detached properties saw a rise from 250,000 to 271,000. Terrace went up from 205,000 to 220,000, and finally apartments went up from 153,000 to 158,000. In the neighbouring Forest of Dean, over the same period, the average house price rose from 267,000 to 282,000. Detached homes increased from 351,000 to 379,000. Semi detached saw a rise from 228,000 to 240,000. Terrace from 188,000 to 196,000. And flats fell slightly from 122,000 to 121,000 on average. So what can we expect over the next few months? There could be a change in the wind, as although the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors has reported the number of available properties hitting the market has hit record lows, the amount of new valuation requests to agents has dramatically increased by around 11% compared to this time last year, meaning we could soon see more properties come into the market that could balance out the supply and demand scale and giving more choice for buyers. With COVID restrictions finally coming to an end in England and Wales, the latest data finds that the average time to sell a home over the last six months has actually fallen by 58 days, meaning finally that transactions are now speeding up. However, with the rise of the base rate of England to 0.75% in March, coupled with the rising costs of living across the UK and rising energy prices and fuel prices, could see buyers' affordability squeezed over the coming months, which could slow down the rise in house prices. But it is safe to say that due to the lack of available properties, we don't predict house prices seeing any fall anytime soon. So if you're thinking of selling or buying a house over the next couple of months, I'd love to talk to you, so why not get in touch with me or one of the team?